The moment you decide to invest in a mobile app, you'll be faced with the decision on which type of app to build. Today we're going to take a look at mobile apps and the difference between web apps, native apps, and hybrid apps. Hey everyone, Jamarco here. So what should you build? A web app, a native app, or a hybrid app? The choice depends on many competing factors, including budget and deadline. For the sake of this video, when we talk about app development, we're going to focus in on the two biggest operating systems, iOS and Android. Until recently, web apps lacked the functionality of native apps, like the ability to send push notifications, work offline, and load the icon on the home screen. Progressive web apps take advantage of recent improvements to browsers to provide this functionality. So is a progressive app right for you? They can be a great solution on Android, but iOS support is still rather limited. Don't think of a progressive web app as a substitute to a mobile app, but instead think of it as an easier way to get a better performing app into people's hands. When talking about a mobile app, we're talking about the apps that can be downloaded from the App Store. There are two types of mobile apps that you can choose to build, and those are native apps and hybrid apps. Native apps are normally what you think about when you think about apps. The majority of apps on your smartphone are native applications that are built for a specific programming language for either iOS or Android. Apple's iOS apps are written in Swift or Objective-C, while apps for Google's Android operating system are written in Java. Some native app examples include Pokemon Go, The New York Times, Google Maps, and more. First off, let's take a look at the advantages of native apps. Number one, native apps offer the fastest, most reliable, and most responsive experience to users. Number two, they make tapping into the camera, microphone, compass, accelerometer, and swipe gestures super easy. Number three, native apps can make use of push notifications, alerting users when their attention is required within the app. You can continually bring back your audience to the app using push notifications, which is a key to any successful app. Number four, you have the ability to match app UI and UX to platform conventions. By building natively, you can assure your app's interface will be user-friendly for all platforms. Though these points all sound great, there are two main disadvantages you should be aware of before you decide on creating a native app. Disadvantage number one, iOS apps will not run on Android and vice versa, so you will have to work with different code bases for each platform you choose to build in. Disadvantage number two, generally native apps cost more and take much longer to build. These costs also impact maintenance costs, so if you don't have a budget of a few thousand dollars a month, you should consider hybrid apps instead. As I mentioned, one of the main disadvantages of building a native app is having to operate with different code bases for each platform you choose to develop for. This is still true if you want to stick with the native SDK provided by Apple and Google, but in the last few years, several cross-platform development solutions have become a popular way to build apps using a single code base. The best part is that they don't sacrifice user experience or access to native APIs. APIs. Two of our favorite platforms that allow for cross-platform development are Examarine and React Native. Both are worth a look. Examarine is a platform built by Microsoft that lets developers build one app that works on multiple platforms using C+. React Native is an open source platform launched by Facebook in 2015. Their platform lets you build real native iOS and Android apps with one code base. You just use JavaScript and React to put it together. Hybrid apps are installed like native apps, but they are actually a web app on the inside. They're built with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS, and they run a simplified web browser within the app called WebView. So why would you want to use a hybrid app? There are actually many benefits of launching a hybrid app, and we're going to take a look at some of those right now. Number one, there is only one code base to manage. All of the advantages of hybrid apps stem from the fact that instead of building two apps, you're actually only building one app and making a few tweaks here and there to make them work on both platforms. Number two, since there is only one code base to manage, you won't need separate iOS and Android developers to maintain and update your app. Number three, it is easy to scale to another platform. Once you have your app put together, it is very easy to launch on another platform such as Windows Phone. Number four, as with native apps, hybrid apps let you retain the same ability to access device features. The benefits of hybrid apps do come with some disadvantages as well though, so let's take a look at some of those now. Number one, the biggest disadvantage is the lack of performance found in some hybrid apps, though hybrid frameworks like Ionic have made things much better in recent years. Number two, cross-platform development is tough and getting your hybrid app to run appropriately on each platform can take a lot of work. Number three, 
Apps are supposed to feel right. If you swipe an element in a certain direction, you expect it to react immediately. This is easy in native apps, but not so much in hybrid apps. If you're thinking of building a hybrid app or just starting out with one, we have some hybrid app platform recommendations for you. PhoneGap is probably the most well-known among hybrid app platforms and probably the easiest to begin with for a web developer. Cordova is the open source engine of PhoneGap and it is backed by Adobe. Their platform lets you create a cross-browser mobile application with JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. These apps run locally in a web view and are wrapped in native code. Our own take on the hybrid app is called Canvas. Canvas is a service offering anyone with a mobile app or responsive site the ability to build a mobile app for it, with no additional development. Canvas relies on our own native code base for iOS and Android, including native elements for navigation, such as a tab bar, push notification inbox, content preloading for your page, and caching. The app is designed to rely on a remote web app or mobile website, which you control. Any change on the mobile website is immediately reflected in the app. It's a cost-effective way to create a mobile app for your website. So which type of app is best for your business? There are many different directions in which you can take your app, all of which have their own pros and cons. The opportunity to get your app into the app store and into the hands of millions or even billions of people is still growing. Take advantage of this opportunity today. Thanks for watching this video about web, hybrid, and native apps. I hope you got some value out of this episode and hopefully you have a better understanding on how to build your own app. Thanks for watching this video about web, hybrid, and native apps. I hope you got some value out of this video and hopefully you have a better understanding on how to create your own app. For more information on app building, visit mobiloud.com. As always, my name is Jumarco and I will see you next time.